Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and take a look at what we have here. We have the Miraculous Ladybug Fashion Dolls, all four of them. So we have Adrian, we have Marinette, we have Ladybug herself, and we also have Cat Noir. And these are super cool because these are the fashion dolls, so they're Barbie sized. And take a look at how they compare to the action figures. They're about double the size. So these action figures look so small next to the fashion dolls. So you can click on the link down below in the description or up on the i button to see the videos for the unboxing and review of the action figures. So let's start by taking a look at the first one. So we have Adrian here. And so Adrian looks pretty cool. The only thing about this box is that I noticed that his hair is parted the wrong way, the opposite way of even the doll itself. And I think um, for some reason they must have flipped the picture. So it looks kind of backwards. <laughs> so over here in the back, as you can see, he comes with an accessory. He has his uh, fencing sword. And up here on the picture, we have black and a little A symbol for Adrian. Okay, let's get him out of the box. Alright, so here is Adrian out of the box and he is super cool. I just love this size. So he is actually very articulated. So he has a movable elbows, um, wrist, and also knees and ankle. So his hair is uh, molded so he doesn't have uh, soft hair, <laughs> which is a little bit too bad. He does have these awesome green eyes. For his outfit, he is wearing his uh, black t-shirt with those stripes and also a shirt over it. And what's interesting is that his t-shirt is actually attached to his shirt. <laughs> so this is actually one piece. And of course, he's wearing his blue jeans. Doesn't that look cool? So he has the stitching to make it look just like a pair of blue jeans, including the pocket. That is super cool. And also the front pockets, the little zipper area and the belt area and then even the side pockets and so what's interesting is that the shirt comes off from the back so these are velcroed and being that he is a regular uh, size for a fashion doll I think some of the clothes from Ken would probably work so one interesting thing is that his shoes here are molded on so you can't take off his shoes actually you know what I might be mistaken know what I'm mistaken you can take up his shoes oh my gosh that's super awesome so he is articulate I just feel like I'm <laughs> breaking his feet oh my gosh he has very small toes <laughs> so that is super cool look at his shoes these orange shoes they don't have a little logos on them um, like the ones on the um, action dolls on. I'm glad they have these slits so that um, he can move his ankles. So he does have his accessory which is his fencing sword so it is uh, bald at the end for safety reasons but it makes him look super cool when he is practicing his fencing moves. And I don't know anything about fencing so we'll just pretend this is a good position to be in. <laughs> So just to compare, I'm going to show you the, the super tiny, oh my gosh, next to him, um, the action figure. <laughs> it's almost ridiculous, really. Um, <laughs> it's just so much bigger than the action dolls. So um, these fashion dolls are about, I think, 11 inches tall. These action figures are, I think, five and a half. And just because proportionally everything is much smaller, it just makes him look tiny. Oh my gosh, he is like, gosh, giant. <laughs> so that is the difference. The faces are also quite different. Um, I think he has a more boyish face and his, his looks a little bit um, more awkward now that you compare it with the fashion doll. But I don't think either of them really looks like Adrian. All right, next we have Marinette. So let's take her here. Okay, so here is Marinette. She has a picture of Tiki here and a little M for Marinette. And she comes with an accessory, which is her backpack. And this is a really cute image of her. And in the back, this figure looks different than this figure. I don't know about you guys. Um, what do you guys think? So I think the face 
of uh, this figure is completely different from probably what the concept was. So, um, that's my take on it. So let's open this up. Alright you guys, so here is Marinette. And I have to say, I really do like the, um, the picture of her much better than the actual doll. I do think these are two different <laughs> faces. And there's Marinette from the cartoon. So, um, she has these, this really cool blue hair, but it's much, much longer than in the show. In the show, I think her hair will probably come up to here, but they probably couldn't get it uh, to work with actual um, hair since it'll kind of just be sticking out. So, her side bangs are a little bit kind of sticking out, <laughs> as you can see here, but um, I think uh, it still looks okay. You can kind of still brush it to the side, and you'll look like Marinette. Her outfit is really cool, so she has her um, outer shirt with lining, isn't that neat? It comes with lining, her inside shirt with the uh, flowers on it, and um, again these are attached so it's one piece, so to remove it is actually you open it from the back. So there you go. Her pants are really cool, so she has these pink pants, and again, uh, the details are really cool. It has these um, embroidery on it to show the pockets, and the little lines on the front, and it's even folded up with the linings like this. Isn't that cool? And she also comes with shoes, and look, they're such cute flats. Oh my gosh, I need a pair just like this. <laughs> So she is not as articulated as Adrian. She has her elbows and her wrist and her knees, um, and that's about it. So her ankles are not articulated. And then she comes with an accessory, which is a backpack. I kind of wish the Adrian and the Marinette comes with Tiki and Plaque as accessories. I think that would be super cool. But um, instead, uh, Marinette does come with this backpack. I don't think it's adjustable, but I think she should be able to wear it. It does seem big enough to actually wear. So, let's see. I can put it on her. Oh my gosh, this is actually pretty cute. <laughs> Look at this. So she's wearing her backpack. I'm going to bring it up close to show you the details on her backpack. So she has her marinette and the little flowers on these. I think these are either um, peach blossoms or maybe um, cherry blossoms. And just to compare, this is the marinette uh, action figure. And so again, their faces are actually both quite different and, um, and also different from the show. But I think they still look pretty cool. All right, next we have Ladybug. So let's get Ladybug out here. Oops, she goes a little Ladybug. So here is Ladybug. <laughs> and for some reason out here in on the side, we have a picture of stormy weather. So I'm not really sure why she's there. Over here we have her yo-yo. And we have a picture of Ladybug. And I think her hair, this one is also inverted. I think it's swept the other way. So I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> and there's a picture of the, both of them. And also here's the picture on the back. All right, so here is Ladybug. So you know, now that I'm looking at them a little bit longer, I'm not sure if I really like the hair this way. I think it um, looks a little strange with the bangs kind of just tossed to the side like this. Um, <laughs> it might take some time to get used to it. So here is Ladybug and also she is just in a one-piece outfit. So look at this. She doesn't have shoes. Instead, it's just like kind of a, <laughs> a onesie, really. <laughs> this, yeah, this is kind of like an adult-sized uh, onesie for adults, I guess, or a costume. Um, <laughs> But she is articulated, so she has her arms and elbows, and her hand is just painted red. So instead of making the onesie where you know it fits through the hand like a glove, what they opted to do was uh, put sleeves on it, have it end at the wrist, and give her and paint her hands red. And these are actually not really articulation. This is just kind of a it's kind of a ball and socket. So you can't really bend it, you can just rotate it. So here is her yo-yo 
and this is in the working kind of open format I kind of wish it was um, it actually worked you know it actually opens or closes but it's gonna be in this open position it has a little handle here for her hands to fit through so I thought um, that wasn't as cool all right so here is the ladybug action figure next to the fashion doll I actually think the action figure has a better look um, as far as Ladybug goes, she looks uh, more intense, <laughs> whereas I think the Ladybug here looks more like she's just dressing up as Ladybug. She doesn't look very serious at all. Alright, and finally we have Cat Noir. So here is Cat Noir in his box, and he has the, a picture of the bubbler here. And of course his ring, and a picture of him in the front here. And a picture of him on the side, and a picture of him <laughs> on the back. Alright, so we have Cat Noir here, and doesn't he look cool in his mask? So his hair is molded, and it is super spiky, so it looks completely different from Adrian. And he has his little cat ears on, and you can see that his mask is covering his face, and he has his green eyes. So I always thought the all green eyes is kind of weird, but I think it's starting to grow on me. So for his outfit, it, it's all black and it's going to be hard to see on the camera just because it's all black. So he is essentially wearing kind of a stretchy material, very similar to what Ladybug is wearing. It's kind of like spandex type of material and um, it comes up to his sleeves and his hands are painted black. So his, um, his bottoms are the same, this is all one piece and he has these really cool boots. I think these boots are the coolest part of him. <laughs> he has this kind of a, a shield around the ankles and kind of a paw-like boot front <laughs> or boot top, I'm not really sure <laughs> how you would describe that. And he has his belt, look at that. So this belt is removable, he has a little clasp here that you can take off and um, otherwise it looks just like a belt. And what's really cool is this bell and do you hear it? It works! It's a real bell! So that is such a cool kind of a little addition to it. It's just attached to his shirt right at the neck. And the accessory that he comes with is his uh, stick that is already open, I think into the phone mode. So he is probably talking or calling somebody. Maybe it's Ladybug since her yo-yo um, is also open. You see the little paw print there. That's really cool. So I think the Cat Noir fashion doll is a little bit cooler than the action figure. <laughs> Alright everyone, so here are the four fashion dolls from Miraculous Ladybug. I think my favorite is Cat Noir. So let me know who do you like best and if you like the fashion dolls better or the action figures. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we have a new Miraculous Ladybug doll to review. The other day we reviewed this new doll, Chloe. So today we have Antibug. Antibug is the akumatized version of Chloe. Chloe is a big fan of Ladybug and she likes to dress up and role play as Ladybug. But when she got akumatized, she turned into kind of a reflective version of her where she is wearing a black outfit with red polka dots. So what's really cool is that she also comes with her sword. <laughs> so here is the back. So, has, so you can see Antibug here and you can also see the doll and then also the other figures that you can collect. So let's open this one up. Alright everyone and here she is. This is Antibug. So Antibug has Chloe's face and hair. So she has blonde hair that is tied up into a ponytail. She has these bangs that are split in half and also tied up into her ponytail. And she is wearing a mask. Now this mask is actually painted on just like Ladybug and so you can't remove it. I think it would have been nice if they made a mask that could be removed, then you can actually transform her from Chloe to Antibug. So here is a really up close look at her face. So you might not be able to see it, but she actually has eyelashes in here. So she had these big huge eyelashes. <laughs> They're kind of a, a black on top of her super black mask. 
and she has some blush and also a very light pink kind of peachy lipstick and I had some uh, viewers asking me whether or not her hair feels cheap on the Chloe doll and so since she has the same hair I don't think it feels cheap uh, she has a lot of hair so they didn't get so they did give you a lot of hair to to work with but it's not something I would um, undo from the ponytail I think this is something that you want to keep up I think if you put it down it might get a little bit frayed so here's kind of what it looks like it is soft but not super soft um, although for kind of a Barbie quality type of doll it feels just fine so the dolls that I thought had really soft hair would be the Shimmer and Shine dolls so Shimmer and Shine dolls are really really soft but these are um, kind of Barbie level hair <laughs> so soft but not like just super soft okay so here is her outfit so just like ladybug she is wearing a one piece this is like a onesie she has no shoes on just this black onesie with red polka dots and um, you can remove it from the back there we go and the velcro shut and she is articulated um, her arms go sideways up and down her elbows, she has these hands that rotate, and her knees, and her ankles don't move, so only her knees and hips. And here she is right next to Chloe. <laughs> How could you not know this was Chloe, right? And as comparison, I do have the action figures, so the action figure sword is only a tiny bit smaller <laughs> than the fashion doll so here they are next to each other so I think the Chloe and anti-bug set are really good dolls I can't wait to see which ones they're gonna release next alright so if you guys like this video make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye hi everyone welcome to Evie's toy house today we have a new miraculous ladybug doll to review the other day we reviewed this new doll Chloe so today we have anti-bug anti-bug is the akumatized version of Chloe Chloe is a big fan of ladybug and she likes to dress up and role play as ladybug but when she got akumatized she turned into kind of a reflective version of her where she is wearing a black outfit with red polka dots so what's really cool is that she also comes with her sword <laughs> so here is the back so, as, so you can see anti-bug here and you can also see the doll and then also the other figures that you can collect so let's open this one up all right everyone and here she is this is anti-bug so anti-bug has Chloe's face and hair so she has blonde hair that is tied up into a ponytail she has these bangs that are split in half and also tied up into her ponytail and she is wearing a mask now this mask is actually painted on just like ladybug and so you can't remove it I think it would have been nice if they made a mask that could be removed then you can actually transform her from Chloe to anti-bug so here is a really up close look at her face so you might not be able to see it but she actually has eyelashes in here so she had these big huge eyelashes <laughs> they're kind of a, a black on top of her super black mask and she has some blush and also a very light pink kind of peachy lipstick and I had some uh, viewers asking me whether or not her hair feels cheap on the Chloe doll and so since she has the same hair I don't think it feels cheap uh, she has a lot of hair so they didn't get so they did give you a lot of hair to to work with but it's not something I would um, undo from the ponytail I think this is something that you want to keep up I think if you put it down it might get a little bit frayed so here's kind of what it looks like it is soft but not super soft um, although for kind of a Barbie quality type of doll it feels just fine so the dolls that I thought had really soft hair would be the Shimmer and Shine dolls so Shimmer and Shine dolls are really really soft but these are um, kind of Barbie level hair <laughs> so soft but not like super soft 
Okay, so here is her outfit. So just like Ladybug, she is wearing a one piece. This is like a onesie. She has no shoes on, just this black onesie with red polka dots. And um, you can remove it from the back. There we go. The Velcro shut. And she is articulated. Um, her arms go sideways, up and down. Her elbows, she has these hands that rotate. And her knees and her ankles don't move. So only her knees and hips. And here she is right next to Chloe. <laughs> How could you not know this was Chloe, right? And as comparison, I do have the action figures. So the action figure sword is only a tiny bit smaller <laughs> than the fashion doll. So here they are next to each other. So I think the Chloe and Anti-Bug set are really good dolls. I can't wait to see which ones they're going to release next. Alright, so if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we have a new set of Miraculous Ladybug dolls to review. So this set is really cool. First, they come in a totally new uh, type of outfit, so they're much shinier. And what's really cool is that they come with their Kwamis. So we have Tiki over here for Ladybug, and we have Black for Cat Noir. So let me show you the back. So here's the back of the box. You can see the picture of uh, the dolls and also a picture of Cat Noir and Ladybug. Alright, so let's get them out of the box and take a closer look. Alright, let's start first by taking a look at Tiki. So this is Tiki and she is so, so cute. Take a look at her. So she is actually pretty big. She is um, about two inches tall and she is sitting and looking so cute. Oh my gosh, look at her big eyes. And she's not very articulated. The only thing that moves is her head, so she can look to the right and left. And um, the rest of her body is just one piece. And here is Plaque. So Plaque is just like Tiki, has a very, very big head. And he is also in the sitting position. And look at his tail right here. And he is not articulated, he just has a movable head. But he looks really, really cool. Alright, let's take a look at the dolls. Okay, so here is Ladybug. So this is the same uh, doll essentially as the single pack dolls. Um, her face and her hair is pretty much the same. The only thing that's different is her outfit. So she has this kind of a metallic shiny material to her outfit, which is actually pretty cool. So here is the other one. So this is the one that comes in a single pack. And as you can see, she comes in um, kind of just a stretchy material for her outfit. But this new one um, comes with a very shiny material. So that is really cool. She is articulated. Um, her ankles are not, but her knees and her uh, elbows are. She doesn't come with any accessories. The other doll came with her yo-yo. But this one, since she came with Tiki, doesn't have any other accessories with her. Okay, next we have Cat Noir. So again, the doll himself is the same as the other doll. This, uh, the only difference is that he's wearing kind of a more pleather-like material. He is, um, his outfit's a little bit shinier, and I think he has the details on his uh, outfit is a little bit different. So he has these little shoulder pads and elbow pads down here. And, um, but his boots are the same. So I don't know if you can tell with the difference here. So this one is more of a kind of a stretchy like a workout material. And this one is more of a pleather leather type material. And the details are also a little bit different. He has these lines up here. Um, he doesn't, but uh, he does have these um, extra details on the stitching here, which is actually kind of cool. His pants are pretty much the same. There's no additional details to it. And the back is the same, they're just velcroed shut, and he has his little belt uh, tail, and the shoes are pretty much the same. 
Alright everyone, so I think this is such an awesome set. I love that it comes with both Cat Noir and the Debug and their Kwamis. That is super cool and it is just in time for the holiday season. So let me know down below in the comment section which outfit you prefer. Do you like the shiny materials better or do you like the normal materials? Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and today is a really exciting day because we got two brand new dolls from Miraculous Ladybug. So we have Marinette and Chloe wearing brand new outfits and don't they look adorable? So we do have already the two uh, Marinette and Chloe dolls wearing their uh, traditional um, outfits from the show. So I'm thinking these are probably outfits that we will see in season 2 of the show. So let me show you. Here is Marinette. So back here is the back of the box and here is Marinette looking super cute in her polka dot pink dress. And over here we have Chloe. And take a look at that. She looks really, really cute. I didn't notice here that her hair seems like uh, it's colored differently. Instead of blonde, she is now a brunette. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? So, um, so we're going to be adding her to the full line of dolls that we have here. I kind of wish that instead of making a brand new Marinette and Chloe doll in different outfits, that they would give us uh, different dolls like uh, Alia or maybe uh, Julika and some of the other characters. But this is what we have, so let's open them up and take a closer look. Alright, so here is Marinette out of her box and I really like her. Look at her, she's really cute. So her hair is not show accurate at all. She has long hair instead of short and it is kind of tied back on the top here instead of in pigtails. So back here it's blue and as you can see it's kind of tied back here um, halfway up here. Her face is um, not very show accurate either, but I think it's actually really cute. She has um, big blue eyes, some blush, and a really nice uh, cute pink lips. And her outfit is a pink polka dot outfit. It is a halter top, so as you can see here, it is um, fastened with velcro up here on the top and also down her waist. And she has a black belt and black lace trim. That is a very nice detail. She's also wearing a red necklace. This looks like um, beads, so a red beaded necklace. And a pair of red shoes. <laughs> These shoes, I think, are a little bit um, funny looking. <laughs> they're platforms, they're uh, super platforms. So they're very thick on the front and thick on the side here. And I think if you cut off the heels, it'll look like those um, brand new, really popular uh, heelless shoes that, that are out right now. <laughs> and she has little big red bows on top of them. She also comes with a red purse, which does not open at all. So this is just a solid block of um, a rubber here. So she can just carry this. Alright, next we have Chloe. So Chloe, I think her face is a lot more show accurate. To me, just by looking at the doll, I can kind of tell this is Chloe. So I really like the way her face is designed. She has just that <laughs> Chloe look. So um, what's different about this doll is that she has this pink uh, highlight a streak going down here, which is different. I have not seen it in the show, um, but hopefully maybe this is something that will show up in season two. And back here is her hair. I am not really liking the way her hair is cut. It looks really choppy. Um, I wish, I, I think it's supposed to look layered, but um, the way it turned out is it just looks kind of mangled. <laughs> I think if they had just made it flat uh, or cut straight across, it would have been, a, it would have a better effect. But uh, the way it looks now, I think you pretty much have to spread it out just so that it looks kind of decent. Otherwise, it looks kind of just like a kid took a scissors to it and just chopped it up. So there's that. Or you can always tie it up in a ponytail. So if you tie it up in a ponytail, it'll actually look okay. So Chloe here also comes with a new dress. She is wearing a really cute dress. This one has a silver top, so it's sparkly silver 
and a yellow bottom on here. It's more of a satiny bottom. So back here is where the clasp is. And for her shoes, she is wearing also a symmetry marionette, these kind of very big, um, clunky uh, platform shoes. And she has three little bows on top. As far as articulation goes, um, both of these dolls are articulated in multiple points at the elbow, at the wrist, which actually rotates but does not bend, and also at the hips and the knees. So you can pose her in many different uh, poses. And as you can see here, they're actually, um, their skin color is different. So Marinette is more of a pink color and Chloe is more of a beige, uh, more pale beige color, which also matches their face skin tone too. And Chloe also comes with a pink bag. So this one has little bumps on it, um, like a quilted feel to it, which is really nice. And again, these don't open, it's just kind of a solid piece of rubber, kind of like an eraser. So shopping with these. Alright, so here are my two marionettes and two Chloe dolls. I think as far as outfits go, I do like the show accurate uh, season 1 outfits better. Maybe because it's um, I'm just used to seeing it and I just really like the detail and the quality of their outfits better than the new summer dresses. As far as hair goes, uh, I, I like this style of hair on Marinette better. If we had to have long hair, I'd rather have it look more uh, flowy and down rather than this kind of a weird pigtail look. But for Chloe, I do like her in her ponytail look better just because her hair doesn't look so choppy in the back. So let me know down below in the comment section what you think of these new dolls and which one of these outfits you like better. The traditional ones or the show accurate ones or these new summer dresses. I've also done reviews of these other dolls so if you have not seen them yet make sure to go and check those out. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!